Hey there, Jamie and Ted, news and views. So think of us as your boots on the ground here, bringing you the latest, most up-to-date real estate news in the Claremont area. We've got our itinerary picked out and we've got lots of cameras. So we are ready to roll. On this episode of News and Views, we're going to go just north of Claremont to Mineola and give you lots of updates there. We've got a new community that's coming to show you. We're also going to stop by the hospital and the new K-8 school being built to give you the progress updates there. And in that neighborhood, Dreamfinders phases 3, 4, and 5 are well underway. Dreamfinders, right and from there, we're going to go up to Del Webb. They just started phase 3, amazing views there. And the Hancock extension is being built. And today we're really excited. We're going to start our journey off at the new Meritage Homes community called Serene at Mineola. This is on Citrus Grove, just east of Hancock, next to the Hills Crossing Shopping Center. Yeah, what's great about this place is all the infrastructure is already in place. The builder, all they have to do is show up and start building. So it was originally a build to rent community. Um, and plans changed and Meritage just bought this property. So the time until they start their construction has now been shortened. They don't have to develop the land, which is really cool. Another interesting fact about this community is it's gonna be a gated community um, with 266 attached and detached finished home sites. And now off to the other side of the turnpike up north on Hancock, heading to Dreamfinders. So now we're in Hills of Mineola, Dream Finders. You may recall that phases one and two of the Hills of Mineola, that was built out by Meritage Home, Ashton Woods, and Starlight Homes. Now Meritage Homes and Ashton Woods have sold out. Starlight Homes, they have a handful of homes left. So right now, Dream Finders is the only builder that has a lot more to build out. And they're building out phases three, four, and five. And currently, they're selling in phase four. They've sold out phase three. So we've got phase four and phase five left. Across the street from Dreamfinders is the hospital. And you can see, it looks like their vertical build is complete. And now they're really uh, just gonna start building insides. Across the street, once again, back over on the east side of Hancock, where the new school, you can see that area has really blossomed. And that is scheduled to open summer of 2025. So next summer um, for the school year 2025, 2026, which will be really exciting for this whole community because then they'll have a school that the kids can walk to. It's really designed to be a walkable school, not a lot of high traffic. So biking, um, kids riding their bikes and kids walking to school. Heading north on Hancock and there we see Del Webb. So now we're in Del Webb. They are currently selling phase three. There's a few home sites in phase two that's, that are left. What's really been cool to see is as we've gone through the phases, the views just seem to be getting better and better. I mean, phase one and two had some amazing home sites that had some just incredible views. Phase three, no disappointment there. They're pretty spectacular. On other news, the amenity center, we're gonna see some movement there that got approved. And in the meantime, what Del Webb has done is there's now a lifestyle house, and this should be done, this should be opening this month, where until the amenity center is complete, there's now a lifestyle home, and this is where the activities will be and a place where everyone can gather and, and get together until the amazing amenity center is, is completed. North Hancock is well underway. They got the trees cleared and they're rolling out all the sand and it is coming along nicely. Now this is really important because it's gonna connect uh, the 561A all the way up to the 455, which opens up several different communities, four of which we have, five of which we have our eye on. And that brings up another community. This one is Whispering Winds and Richland Communities, the developer just sold that to Stanley Homes. And our understanding is that it's gonna have 205 home sites, 
ranging from 45 foot lots to 65 foot lots. So we're gonna keep an eye on that as well and obviously keep you posted along the way. Thanks so much for joining us on News and Views. There's so much coming here to this area. It's really exciting. So if you want to be in the know and be kept up to date on everything that is coming to the Claremont area, be sure to like as and subscribe. As it's happening. As it's happening. Be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Um, we really appreciate you coming along for the ride with us. And it's our goal, as we said, to be your boots on the ground, bringing you the latest, most up-to-date real estate news. So we'll see you next time on News, News and, and Views. Views. On this episode of News and Wait, please. Wait. North Hancock. You got like, just a, just a okay. Yeah. Bringing you the latest, most up to the, most up to date. We're gonna bring you the latest, most up to the. We're gonna bring you. We'll see you on News and Views. <laughs> I forgot what we were saying, and now the battery's running low. So we gotta get it, right? Yeah.